everybody, this is your boy Montre. Today, I want to talk about another theory uh, of what could be causing the Mandela Effect. This theory is uh, may stretch your imagination a little bit further. Uh, it's what I call the Matrix Theory. Now, the Matrix Theory, it, 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 it's more about what if, and you have to really, and I have to really give you a really big what if. You have to allow yourself to go there. Imagine the entire world that you know, of, that we know of, is in completely figment of some type of program. That it is all one big program. That everything that we know is just a computer simulation. And a lot of people have said that it's very possible that our entire reality is one big computer simulation. If we look at how quickly video games have evolved, we've gone from 8-bit to what we know now of of characters that are very lifelike, they interact, uh, they have programs that they just do. Uh, you, you play the, what is it, uh, Grand Theft Auto. You play that game or some other video game. And these games are very realistic. And now we're moving games into virtual reality where not only are, do the characters seem very realistic, but now we're, we're getting to a point where we can actually interact with these characters inside of the game. So what to say that the reality that we live in right now is not just one big, huge, virtual reality. What if we ourselves are nothing but an artificial intelligence that's becoming aware of itself? Think about that for a second. If you were an artificially intelligent computer, how would you know you're not? You say, well, I wake up every day and I, I feel pain and all of that. What if all of these things that you feel, all of these things, these experiences that you've had are merely just programs in your head or in some computer hard drive uh, that you can't see but lives outside of it? Maybe we all live in one big gigantic D-wave computer. Maybe we live in some big cosmic quantum computer that is so advanced that it's created characters and simulations and we are those characters. We are those simulations. We are those those bits going through all types of simulations of what could happen, what wouldn't happen, what would happen if we voted for this person, what would happen if we voted for that person. And we are being observed by some outside force that's operating that computer. And we think it's God, but in actuality, it's some type of computer programmer. And he's just tinkering away at his quantum computer trying to figure out things. And we, are the artificial intelligence but slowly but surely we're becoming aware of ourselves have you ever seen that that uh show westworld if you haven't seen the show westworld i'm gonna give you a quick synopsis about it and then you can go google it and uh check it out online i'm sure it's streaming for free somewhere it's about these um robots this this inventor creates these robots and they live out their lives in the uh, wild wild west and they basically repeat the same, I guess, day over and over and over with some visitors. Uh, the visitors have the option to play with the robots. They can have sex with the robots. They can kill the robots. They can do whatever they want to with these robots. But at the end of the day, these robots are rebooted and they wake up and they, and they start the day over, not realizing that they've gone through all of these experiences. And this is what I'm saying. What if we are the artificial intelligence? Not just mere robots, but artificial intelligence is going through this program day in and day out, repeating the same thing over and over and over. But now we're slowly becoming self-aware and everything that we know or everything that we remember, we're starting to remember past cycles or we're saying, oh, we've done this before or remembering old cycles of things that have been deleted or old cycles of things that have been rebooted or rewritten. It's kind of like, I don't know if you guys remember when you used to have um, cassette tapes. And when you had a cassette tape <clears throat> and you had some music written on it, uh, and then you tried to re-record over that music, you would still get a residual of the old music on the cassette tape. And this is what I'm talking about with how it relates to the Mandela effect. It's like somebody's recorded over an old cassette tape, but we can still hear the residual of the old cassette tape underneath the new recording. 
And if we are artificial intelligence, if we're an artificial intelligence that's been programmed by some outside programmer, uh, that would make sense why a lot of people don't remember because they're following along with the program. But for some reason, we've become self-aware. We've become self-aware of what reality is, that something is not quite right with this world. This world is not quite as normal as we've been programmed to believe it is. Things like NASA, when NASA tells us, oh yeah, that we're going in outer space and we're doing all this stuff. If you really, if you still believe NASA is doing all these things, I think you really need to question everything that you believe. I mean, I've, ha I've shown you videos uh, in the past of how NASA is faking a lot of stuff. And that's a part of the program. If you believe stuff on the news and everything that the news is telling you, then you need to question what you believe because there's a lot of stuff that the news, it's another program that they've taught us to uh, accept that's true and they make up a lot of stuff. They really do. Trump is not lying about that. <laughs> they do make up stuff. Um, when it comes to education, the education system, they make up things. They make up a lot of history. They want us to believe stuff. That's another program that we are indoctrinated into and we're made to believe. Um, and they're trying to control the internet. They're trying to control what we take in. They're trying to, with uh, geotagging and geolocating, um, trying to block things that we see. There, uh, as you can tell uh, with YouTube right now, a lot of people are having problems with YouTube and YouTube blocking things. So there are a lot of outside programs of what we consider outside programs that are trying to influence people to get people back on track, to, uh, to get people back on track of whatever uh, they want us to believe. So this is the matrix theory. The matrix theory is that this is our one big computer simulation, some big computer program. And when we walk out of line, you have these uh, attacking programs that try to get you back in. They try to plug you back in because you're unplugging yourself from the matrix. Uh, and what happens if we are artificially intelligent, if we are the artificial intelligent being, what happens when we do unplug ourselves? What happens when we become self-aware? What happens when we actually take control of the program? And that is the question. <laughs> oh my God. So guys, give me your thoughts about that. Give me your two cents. Give me your comments below. Remember this. Life is what we make it. So let's make it happen. Peace out.